Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Sage. What is up? What is up with you people? This is going to be episode five. Episode five of my continuous weekly ongoing series of episodes explaining talents in detail. Talents. And today we're going to talk about slow down. Slow down. Slow down, slow down at 1 of 8 has a 25% chance to reduce enemy speed by 30% for 5 seconds when attacking. At 5 of 8, it has a 25% chance to reduce the enemy speed by 70% for 5 seconds. And at 8 of 8, it's a 40% chance to reduce the enemy speed by 70% for 5 seconds. You're only going to be able to slow down the enemy's movement speed. I said only his movement speed, not his attack speed. Now the percentages for slowdown are very good. I would say they're better than the other talents that have a uh, chance of activating. Because the percentages are so high, there's a very likely chance that if you have slowdown, even at low level, that not only will it activate, but you'll also see a noticeable effect on your enemy. But despite those high percentages, it's still a chance talent, which means it's not as desirable as the other talents. Even though it has a higher chance than other chance talents of going off, there's still a chance that it won't go off before you get killed by the enemy. Also, since it's a chance talent, it could be disabled by Ares. So if Ares has his Calamity spell on you, then there is zero chance that your slowdown will be activated. And although it's a very powerful debuffer, the only thing it debuffs is the enemy movement speed. And it has to be someone that you're hitting directly in a DPS setting. Because of the DPS nature of this talent, it limits the uh, enemies that it will be effective against. If your enemy is ranged or has an AoE proc, then there's a high likelihood that your slowdown will never even target him, will never even find him since he can kill you without moving towards you your slowdown would be ineffective against those type of enemies but even if your slowdown does find the enemy if he's moving towards you slowdown does not debuff his attack speed so if he's attacking you and you're attacking him then he's still going to kill you his slow the slowdown will not reduce his attack speed only his movement speed and if you are facing him in a DPS setting then there really is no need for him to move any closer to you if he's already attacking you. So now the question is, what is good about slowdown? There are so many negatives. Is there any positives to this talent? There is a lot of positives to this talent. And everything is going to depend on your game mode and the heroes that you target and the heroes that you place your slowdown on, your heroes that you place it on. That's going to become the difference in it becoming a uh, being a good talent or being a horrible talent slowdown is very unique because it gives you a lot of little extra perks only a few other talents in the game can share that distinction uh, of of giving you a lot of little hidden gems and slowdown is one of those talents so let's not focus on you know the bad parts of it or or slowdown at its worst case scenario let's look at the beautiful things about slowdown and why you definitely want to save all your slowdown crest and you want to uh, you know when you roll it you want to consider putting it on a good hero one hidden perk about slowdown is that when it activates slowdown inflicts 100 percent damage damage as a separate attack when it's activated. 100% damage as a separate attack when it's activated. That 100% number does not change whether you have a 1 of 8 or 8 of 8 slowdown. You're going to inflict 100% damage. So that's 100% more damage that is going to be applied to your normal attack when your slowdown is activated. You're getting this 100% damage bonus whether you have a 1 of 8 slowdown or 8 of 8 slowdown, it doesn't matter. If your hero has War God or Bulwark, this 100% damage will stack on top of that War God or Bulwark. So every time slowdown activates, your damage 
the damage that you're inflicting will multiply because of the slowdown. For that reason, some people call slowdown a cheap war god because you're basically getting a war god type effect every time you have slowdown. Another beautiful, unique thing about slowdown is that slowdown can stack on top of other slowdowns. So if you have a few of your heroes have slowdown and they're attacking the same target, then there's a chance that you will perma slow that target. Perma slow is just like perma stun. If you slow them down so much their enemy speed, you slow it down so much they won't even be able to move. They'll be stuck, just like as if they were stunned. And in a few short minutes, I'll show you an example of perma slow. Now, my favorite use for slowdown will be against these new centaur bosses, the ones you find in the HBMs and the dungeons, all the new dungeons, all the new HBMs, in the uh, Lost Realm. These guys are, are wretched gorge. I'm sorry, but anyway, these guys are slow. They have to, they're melee, so they have to be right up on you to hit you. You can see them coming from a mile away. They can't be stunned. The only thing you can do is slow them down with slowdown. So as they're walking towards you, you can perma stun them or perma slow them. If a couple of your heroes have slowdown, they'll keep hitting these centaurs to the point where the uh, slowdown activates and then these guys won't be able to move and while they're stuck then your other heroes can take them out and kill them. Alright let's look at a classic effective way of using slowdown and we're gonna go to the 710 dungeon and we're gonna perma slow this um, centaur boss. This is one of the classic uh, examples of it that we've been using for years so what I'm going to do is uh, put Spirit Mage down over here in this area where my cursor is. Then I'm going to drop everybody else on the Centaur boss. I'm not going to use any magic. And because my Multanica has four slowdown crests, my Cupid has slowdown crests, and my Pixie has slowdown crests, with all that slowdown it should stack, multiply. His, uh, his movement speed should get a lot slower. And he should be so slow, in fact, that he can't even walk, that he's perma-slowed. So let's see if it works. I'll drop my guy right here. Then I'll drop all my other heroes right here. And once the slowdown kicks in, as you can see, he is done. You see that? Perma-slow right there. He basically was slowed down to the point where he couldn't move. Now remember that centaur boss, he cannot be... Um, stunned or anything so what you saw there with no magic was him being perma slowed with slowdown so as you can see slowdown is very effective against that centaur boss for that reason I recommend that you always have slowdown on your heroes when you're doing your HPMs your storm mesa your wretched gorge even your daily boss anything that has to do with a centaur you'll be able to perma slow them with slowdown, especially if you have it on a few of your heroes. You basically want a game mode where you can see your enemy approaching you from a mile away and you can slow them down before they get to you and take them out. Now some of these other new game modes like uh, Lost Realm where you're in tight quarters and you're going head to head in a DPS setting, slowdown is not going to do anything because slowdown is only uh, affecting the movement speed, not the attack speed. So if they don't have a a reason to move towards you that can just attack you from a standing position then slowdown is not going to do much so you have to look at the game modes where they're moving towards you they're melee heroes they have to get in close like HBMs for instance or a wretched gorge and um, that's the that's the times when you want to put slowdown on your heroes either as crest or as a main talent so now that we talked about game modes we talked about the description what it does Let's talk about heroes. Who do you want to play slow down on? So do not put slow down on Siren. Don't put it on her as a crest talent or a main talent because she already has slow down. She comes with level 5 slow down. It's inherent. So to put it on Siren would be stupid. It would be redundant. It would be an idiotic move. And you would never forgive yourself if you did that. Now slowdown works with a wide range of heroes, especially ones that have kind of integrated slowdown in their procs. 
you know, like Motanica, Harpy Queen. I'm not going to go through every single hero because it is, it'll make the video way too long. But you want to look for a ranged hero. You want to look for a hero that has an integrated slowdown or a debuffing type of hero. And um, somebody who has a decent attack speed. But uh, real quick, if I'm just to go through here, I would say Motanica, Harpy Queen, Druid is good, Cupid is good. Um, who else would be good? Santa Boom would be real good. Pixie would be real good. Would slow down. You kind of get the message. Uh, Valentina would be good. That's not Candy Cane would be good as well. So there's a number of heroes, including uh, Snowzilla is real good with with uh, slow down. But you know you want to look for somebody who has a fast attack speed, who has integrated slow down in their proc and who's ranged and those are going to be your best heroes but slowdown is very good as a crest talent as well so make sure you save up your crest talents I mean your crest slowdown because you may want to use them on your heroes uh, when you're doing HBMs and when you're doing Wretched Gorge and some of those those type of game modes where you deal with the centaur boss or the uh, even the demon boss in Wretched Gorge because he's moving towards you you might want to slow him down before he gets to you so you can kill him so anyway um, that's it. That's my video. I don't really have much to add besides that because the first part of it was so long uh, when I was making, you know, explaining what slowdown does. So I'm going to end it right now. Anyway, uh, make sure you check out the next episode. I'm not sure what it's going to be. I'm going to have it for you ready next week. I'm doing these every week or so. And uh, this is my Guild War base. That's why it looks so crazy. And um, there's a method to my madness. So if you really were to look at it and you try to decide how you're going to raid me, then it'll probably make sense. But I know looking at it now, it just looks like a mess. But there's a method to it. It actually works. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys later next week when we bring uh, the next episode. All right. Take care. Peace.